Hi teachers, this quick video is going to walk you through splitting your screen in two different ways. We're first gonna talk about splitting a single screen when you're in a Google Meet, and then we are going to discuss splitting between two screens when you're in a Google Meet. This is just a refresher of the trainings I've already provided to help you as we head back into our hybrid schedule. So first, if we're talking about sharing and splitting our screen on a single monitor. So this means that you only have one monitor connected or if you're connected to your projector, you see the same thing on your computer screen that you see on your projector screen. In order to split your screen this way, you first would want to make your window for Google Meet half the size or less than half the size of your computer screen. You can do this in a couple of different ways. You can select the window and using the Windows key on your keyboard, select the Windows key and then use the left or right arrow in order to bring your screen over. If that doesn't work, you can click the little square in the upper right hand corner and then proceed to drag your Google Meet to whatever size it is that you need. Then when you go to share your screen, you would want to open another tab and we're going to drag this tab out so that it is on the second screen. Now when I go to present, I want to choose to present a window because I don't want my students to see my Google Meet. I just want them to see the window that I'm sharing. I'm going to choose to present a window and then I'm going to find the window. As you can see, it matches this window over here on the um, right. Going to select share. And then it tells me that I am presenting my screen and this is the screen that's being presented. If there were more students in the Google Meet, I should see some of those students show up here, keeping in mind that when you share your screen, you may not be able to see your entire class depending on the size of your monitor and the size of your class. So this is for sharing a um, screen on a second, splitting that screen. I can drag my tab back into here um, keeping in mind that I am still sharing my screen. Now, there is one other way that I can split this. So if I have my Google Meet full size, I can also use the tab resize, which doesn't look like I have tab resize turned on at the moment. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Now, if I select tab resize, Click I understand, click let's go. If I split, it will have the Google Meet here and then my new tab in a second window. So I can click that and it will automatically do the arrangement for me. You can see that it has stopped sharing my screen. So again, if I click present now and choose your entire screen, then I could choose the whole screen, which students would see the Google Meet. So instead when I'm sharing or splitting my screen on one monitor, I want to make sure that I'm sharing a window so that students aren't seeing my Google Meet as well. They're only seeing the screen that I'm sharing. So that's directions for splitting your screen when you are only using a single screen or if you're plugged into your projector. This means um, that you would have the same image on your teacher computer and your projector screen. Now, alternatively, I'm going to go ahead and stop presenting. I'm going to close out of this extra tab and I'm going to just pull up classroom on my second monitor. So you will not see my second monitor at the moment. Um, you can't really do that when you're screen recording. However, I can show you this setup. So if I am connecting to my projector at school and I want to have the option so that students see us um, see only what's on my second screen and I can have that two screen feel that maybe I had at home where I, I had a second monitor or I had my TV, you can recreate that with your projector. The only thing that's a little bit different with your projector is first off, um, you're going to have to get used to the size of the projector compared to the size of a second monitor. So with it being a lot larger in your classroom, perhaps maybe being arranged in a different way with where you sit 
to plug in your teacher computer, it may be a little awkward for you to drag from one screen to the next. Um, however, this definitely can be done dragging from one screen to the next. The other thing to keep in mind is if you want to write on your projector screen for students, you have to write in a program that interacts with your teacher computer. So you won't be able to write on an overlay. It has to be something that's interacting with your computer because students won't be able to see it. And then the third thing just to keep in mind, when you connect two screens and you extend your desktop, sometimes it causes issues with the alignment and where things are at in um, your board. So you may notice your alignment off on your board and sometimes we can fix that easily and sometimes it gets a little bit more tricky. And because we have so many different boards in the district, I don't have a video that pinpoints what's gonna work for every single person. So I can help you through that, um, but we may need to meet one-on-one -on -one in order to walk through those things. So here's what I'm going to do. I am gonna set this up so that I'm ready to extend screens to my projector. I'm gonna click on my Windows button. And if I don't see settings or I don't see PC settings, I am going to search. So you can also search, but you want to select your PC settings. Mine says Windows settings. I'm gonna also click the search down here. And if I type in PC settings, it should bring up the settings app and that's what I want to click on. Alternatively, if you have an older version of Windows or maybe if you have um, the classic shell, you may notice over on the right, you'll see PC settings there and you can click on your PC settings. Once you're in PC settings, we're gonna take a look at what it looks like here. Here's our PC settings. I want to select system where it says that display is located select system. Display should be the first thing that comes up, but if it doesn't, you can click on it on the left-hand side. And then before you set up that second screen, you'll want to come down and make sure under multiple displays, you have it set to extend these displays. And then scrolling back up, here's where you'll want to rearrange your screen. So keep in mind that one is your primary computer. One will be whatever your actual computer is two is your second screen. So in this case, two would be your projector. So you're gonna want to think about where's your projector in relation to your teacher computer. I know this looks a little weird because the two is much smaller, but in fact, the two would be my large projector screen. But thinking about how I'm sitting and where my teacher computer is compared to where my projector is. Do I wanna be able to drag to the left, drag to the right, drag up or drag down? Once you have that drag to where you want, you will want to select apply and it, those changes will be applied. Here's how I happen to want mine. I select apply and then now I should be able to take a window from one screen and drag that window over to the next screen. Now, what does this mean when you are presenting in a Google Meet that you want to do this with students in the classroom and you're using your projector as that second screen. Here's what it means. When I click present now in my Google Meet with students, I want to select to present my entire screen this time. And you're gonna notice because I have extend, I actually have two separate screens I can share. I can share the screen with my Google Meet on it or I can share the screen with Google Classroom on it. In this case, I wanna select to share that other screen that has Google Classroom on it. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're sharing this way, it does help if your Google Meet window is actually on the screen that has the um, webcam on it. This just helps with um, thinking because when you're thinking during a Google Meet, you tend to um, look at the screen that has the Google Meet on it. And if you're looking at the screen that doesn't have the webcam, it actually looks like you're looking um, in the other direction. So you can see right now that my Google Meet screen is not on my, my webcam um, screen. And because of that, I'm looking sideways. So if I drag my Google Meet 
over to my main screen and then I'm going to bring my Google Classroom over here. Having my Google Meet on the same screen where my webcam is helps me make better eye contact. Now, obviously you can't see this because I just dragged it out of sight. But if I put it here and I look, we're gonna make it, and I look over at my webcam, which is on, on my right, that makes it a little bit easier for me to make that eye contact. So hopefully this will help you get getting things set up. I will say the very first time that you go through this, it does take some getting used to and playing around with what your best setup is for your screens. Let me know if you have questions or issues. If you are in an elementary building and you have an older computer or an older projector that still has a VGA, you will need a converter cord. Your converter cord look somewhat similar to this. I have a different type of computer. So you will need a converter cord that has an HDMI on one end and the VGA on the other. You should have been given this when you got your new device and um, you needed it to hook up to your projector. But if for some reason you don't have this converter cord, you will want to first check with your media specialist and second, put in a ticket um, so that they can get you the equipment you need to properly hook up to your board.